hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop and illustrator tutorial today i'll show you this type of signature logo which is the royal or vip type signature logo and uh, you already seen this image in my cover photo so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'll design in illustrator and then i'll mock it up in photoshop at first i'm going to the file and taking new options the artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name logo and hit the create button you'll get an artboard which is the totally blank and then going to the text tool and just click once and you'll get the demo text and you can write down anything and any like uh, the according to your client requirement which name will be or other one so i'm writing here a dot khan which is the um, abdul khan or asif or arif khan this type of name and the photography name is a dot khan then a and so i downloaded a font which is really creative and the name of that font is the emily ink so this type of ink font and i'll provide you that font download link in my video description so don't worry about that already written about that and the interesting thing is that here is some glyphix which is really important for the this type of signature type logo and where you will get the glyphix you have to go to the type options and here you will get the glyphix options so you'll get the other the special cases which is called the glyphix here the n if you select the n and here uh, lots of options for the n delete this and if you click once double press you'll get the n another way of getting this type of things just select the specific letter and you'll get the small options over there if you press here it will get the glyphix like that so right press and then i'll make it like a create outline and this one is no longer font now this one is the vector file and then double click and select all the steps and press the shift and hold it and right arrow key and just press just because of here i want to give the breathing space and then all the step is good and making it group make the alignment according to the artboard and into middle and then going to the shape tools taking the ellipse or you can take or press the L button from the keyboard you will get the ellipse tool and press the shift and hold it and making it bigger like that now turning off the fill color giving the stroke thickness like a 4 or 3 is good for me and I don't know which one is perfect for you guys this one is not rules you have to give the 5 or 3 or whatever it is this one depends on your preferences and then just select this circle i want to make it uh, like this one is stroke now i don't want to make the stroke as it is like that i want to make it vector stroke thing is that if you make it like zoom out it will get the more thickness and if you make it more zoom in it will just reduce the thickness that's why i want to make it like uh, the vectorized and then this one will help you out to cut them and then Going to the object and making it expand and hit ok now this one is no longer the stroke this one is the vector one and you can make it zoom or zoom in or out it doesn't change the shape so i'll make it this like this that's good for me and here i downloaded some uh, shameless or patterns um, which i will provide it already in my video description please check over there and you'll check or take anything from here this thing is a little bit roundish that's why i'm using the round you can use this one this one so i'm i can use this one but this one is more creative for me that's why i'm using ctrl c for the copy and going to the logo options and ctrl v now just rotate this one and here you can put it and making it uh, like bigger if you make it bigger it will be fit with that so selecting here okay that's fine you have to make it a little bit rotation and that's good so 
here some uh, pattern is just bothering us that's why selecting all the stuffs press shift m shape builders tool and press the alter option button and reduce that now this one is one portion now this one is one pattern that's good now our logo is ready selecting all the stuffs making it group and make the alignment into middle now after that going to the rectangle tool which is by place from the keyboard m and making the background like full black and sending it to the last layer that's good and then i'm just selecting this uh, one or separating this one and making the color like this and then i'll give the uh, gradient over there so selecting all the stuffs and then here is the gradient option select the first one gradient and then make the lighter one into middle and press the over here the another pole double click and here the color swatch i'll make this one the darker portion actually this one is good and double click over there i'll give the lighter portion and again the darker portion that's good you're getting the gradient over there now i'll write down the photograph with this word by using the text tool select once and here i'll make the font color white and giving the font which is the next the bold i also provide this font in my video description after doing that making it a little bit smaller and then just select this one that means i want to make this space between two letters that is 300 that's good and making it into middle right press and create outline and i for the color picker or gradient picker just select once you'll get this one so you can save this one now or you can make it png by using uh, the like export the png right press export the selection and you can select your png file to uh, according to your folder suppose this folder and choose and export the asset it will just getting the png file like this only the png file you can use that png i'll show you how to use that and going to the photoshop now and now we'll show how to use the png over there this one is my photograph so i want to place the logo over here how to do that going to the file and place embedded options from here which i uh, just exported earlier which is the asset that means the this png and place it out press the shift and hold it and making it smaller and you can put it over here if you want to change the color from here right press go to the blending options from here color overlay and making it white color and hit ok now you can making anywhere or you can put it anywhere which is really good and now we'll see how to use the mock-up so i download the mockup from freepeak.com and you'll uh, get the free pick the download link in my video description after downloading this one luxury this one and double press over there you'll get the folder which is expanded and over here psd file double click and open up in psd here the smart object your logo here double click and you'll get over there and now i'm going to back in this logo that means this logo selecting this control or command c for the copy and then in the photoshop i'll turn it off and press ctrl or command v and hit ok and then hit the tick button and you can making it a little bit smaller for the border purpose or breathing space and ctrl or command s it will save in this window here is the adjustment some adjustments suppose if you don't want the shadow you can turn it off or here the adjustment of the shadow you can use or you can turn it off it's totally up to you and this one is a mock-up for the practical view purpose and you can provide this mock-up to your client or other areas so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say i'm signing out today stay safe stay at home and don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep me in your prayers as well. Bye-bye.